Sentiments in Washington are very negative right now about China. One of the few really good ways to deal with that is to expand and open up wider on trade opportunities. During the uh, Afghanistan withdrawal, uh, he, he said, uh, from now on, the U.S. will no, no longer seek nation building. What do you think about that? I think President Biden was reflecting what the American public feels, which is we were in Afghanistan, we didn't have a strategy, we were not successful, and we shouldn't get involved in things where we don't know what we're doing. I think that was basically the commentary uh, of, that was behind that statement. Now, does it mean that America is going to pull back uh, from working with other countries in the world towards, you know, building stronger institutions, uh, etc. No, I don't think it means that we'll abandon that. But I do think it means that Americans feel that uh, we used the military to excessively and we didn't really have a plan and that we were not successful. So it's, I think, a foreign policy that is more focused on uh, solid economics, on social development, and on traditional diplomacy is, I think, what he's talking about. The term nation building, and I think that is over. I don't think we're doing that any longer. Even though he's not in office, but Trumpism is still very <laughs> thrive, uh, thriving. So how do you assess the political future of the next two years? America has had two periods in its history where there were profound changes in our political system. Uh, one was about 1842, basically, to 1860. Um, and of course, that, that it, it ended in a civil war, which was a bad thing. The other big period of change, lots of tension, politics got turned upside down, was from about 1885 until 1915. In both cases, they, it lasted over 20 years. And I, I'm, I'm afraid we're in the front end of a probably a 20-year period where our politics is going through profound restructuring. I don't think either party, political party here, is effectively focusing on the challenges we're going to face over the next 10 years or 15 years. I think both, both of the parties are battling over their policies of the past rather than looking forward to the future. So I think we're going to be internally divided. I think there will be, there's still going to be a lot of progressive work, but it's going to happen more at the state level. And I think the economic disparity that you mentioned is very real and is going to be the greatest thing we're going to have to work on. I think we're going to have internal tension in the United States probably for the next 15 years. So what do you think about uh, in general assessment of that uh, what we can do about the sign of U.S. relations? I thought it was a, a major mistake on the part of President Trump to pull out of the TPP. One of the few really good ways to deal with that is to expand and open up wider on trade opportunities. I don't know that the Biden administration is going to see, see it that way, unfortunately. But I do think, and I, and I also think that there is a larger restructuring underway now. Um, we're starting to see, it, we're, it, was, it started before, uh, the COVID pandemic, but we're starting to see a, instead of globalization, we're starting to see regionalization of trade patterns. My personal concern is that I, I'm worried because of the tension between China and the United States. Sentiments in Washington are very negative right now about China. Uh, and I think that's uh, that's, I think, very unfortunate because it makes us hard, it makes it hard for us to develop you know, real ideas, real policies uh, in a constructive way. Look, we're, we're two great countries. We're, we have global interests. We're going to have areas where we're going to disagree with each other. We're going to rub up against each other. Now, in, in the U.S., I think, I, I think in Washington, I'll say in Washington, there are basically two camps. And one camp believes that 
China is racing ahead. It's going to be dangerous. We better stop them any way we can. That's one camp. The second camp, and I'm in the second camp, this is a huge, unprecedented competition. We're out of shape. It's like a runner that hasn't been exercising. Well, we're out of shape. We're going to have to get in shape if we're going to stay up in this competition. Uh, so instead of trying to trip China because it's running ahead of us, we need to work harder to run faster. So I, I, I think I'm in the second camp. I believe that, um, that America's focus ought to be on improving ourselves, fixing our own problems, overcoming the problems within our own society. This is where I think we should be focusing. Rather than having the conversation with China being about opposition to everything you say or do, you know, that's going to go nowhere, in my view. So I'm in the camp that says, if America is going to compete effectively, we've got to get stronger internally. Mm -hmm.